Hello again. How's it going? Um, for all you tiny house builders out there, there's kind of a limited amount of lamps, especially out exterior outside lamps that you can put on your tiny house. At least from from what I've seen on the internet. So I found this lamp. It's a it's a regular 110 115 volt lamp you get at Home Depot or Lowe's wherever. But I want it to be 12 volt for the uh, tiny house I'm building. So I want to convert it and I got a pretty good idea how to convert it. I thought I'd put it in a video to share it with everybody so that uh, if you have a favorite lamp that you want to put on the outside of your tiny house and you want to run a 12 volt light to it, you can do that. It gives you a little bit more availability of lamps. You just have to do a little bit of work. So let me unbox this and get a couple things and I'll show you how I do it. All right, got everything unboxed. Um, you are gonna need to keep some of the stuff, the instruction manual for how to mount it, the mounting hardware to mount it to the wall. This is what they call a pigtail in the automotive industry. This is for a license plate light on a rear bumper of a truck. Uh, I think this came off a Nissan by the looks of the plug. I've worked on cars all my life, so some of this stuff is kind of recognizable for me. You can get this stuff at a junkyard. Um, you don't need that on there. You're just looking for the little peanut bulb with two wires coming off of it, as long as you can get. Um, you want these as long as you can get them in case they, uh, they don't feed through through this neck area here, depending on how much you need. Um, they're pretty inexpensive if you go to a junkyard and, and tell them you want a pigtail from a license plate light off of a truck. Uh, I think Chevy trucks and Ford trucks are a little bit longer. So this is all the 110 volt light bulb wires. Just kind of take it apart. I'm going to take this apart. It basically just unscrews. If you can see in there, it's just threaded on there. You're just going to unscrew that, and the wires are going to pull through. Disconnect and get that ground out of there. And you're going to pull these wires right through there gently. There you go. There's your 110. You don't need that because you're going to run a 12 volt system. Keep all these parts until you're done. Just in case you, uh, oops, I bumped my camera there. Just in case you, you need a washer or something. Keep all those parts. I'm going to take this little nut off here and grab a couple more tools. I'll be right back. All right, I got a got a socket that fits. Unscrew that right there. All this comes apart. Try and stack everything to remember where it goes. It's a ground wire. I don't know if you need it or not. It wouldn't hurt to hook it up to a ground if you have a ground around there, but your 12 volt system is only going to have two wires. It's not going to have a, a ground wire like a house would when you were to wire this to a house. There would be a, a stripped wire that would be your ground you would hook this to. So I don't, I'm not putting this back in. There's no place to hook it up in, on my project. One thing we've got to figure out is how to hook this on. What I didn't show you is the way that this hooks on is by using this and this fancy little nut. That's how it hooks on to the 110 system. 
So we need a way to hook this onto here with all this. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to run over to my hardware store see if I can find a washer. Maybe a long bolt that fits that thread. See what I can do to work this together without being too rinky dink. I want it to be pretty solid. I don't want it to shake when somebody bumps into it. I want it to be solid. So run over to the hardware store and see what I can figure out. Be right back. All right, so I run over to the hardware store and I found what they call a fender washer. They call them fender washers is the name of them. They're just really big around on a really big ring. So this I also had to eliminate this because I couldn't find anything that fit the threads to this lamp. So I couldn't make an extension to mount it like that. But it doesn't look too bad mounted like that. Just straight on it. So you get your fender washer, stick it down in there. And then you use a little washer that came with it that you took off earlier. And you got a little nut there to tighten on. So see that? That's there. That's solid. The only thing I'm going to do is this fender washer. Since it doesn't grab very many threads, you can see it's uh, it's not caught on there very very tight. I want, I want more threads to be threaded on there. So I'm going to dome that fender washer a little bit. I'm going to make this kind of like a volcano. It just so happened to be that I've already done that. See that? A little bit of a volcano kind of thing looking there. That's going to let that nut set deeper in there. Just by enough. The way I did that, I got a big socket. I put the washer on there. The biggest socket I could find the washer to still sit on top of. Put a ball peen hammer right in the middle there and smack it with another hammer. Start out hitting it soft, see how much it's going to give, and just keep tapping it until it gets the right amount. I might need to keep doing it. I don't know. I haven't tested it yet. But it'll do two things. It'll make that nut sit deeper in there. It'll also center it up in that hole there, kind of automatically. That's looking like it's going to set pretty nice in there. Yep, I like that. Sets in there pretty good, pretty tight. Now all you need to do, take your pigtail with your 12 volt light. And all lights on cars are 12 volt, because cars are 12 volt system. So, with the as long as you don't grab an HID light out of a headlight, you should be okay. They only run HID lights, 12 volt lights, and, and LED lights. Um, most of the time the LED lights that are in cars you can't take out. So you get a license plate light that has what they call a peanut bulb in it. Just a small little bulb, 12 volt. And you go to your auto parts store and you get an LED replacement peanut bulb. It looks different, but it plugs right in here. And that gives you an LED light, which draws even less amperage. Uses less electricity, saves your batteries if you're running off the grid. Um, basically clip your pigtail, send it through. Hopefully it's long enough. We're going to find out. Hold on just a second. Alrighty. So I got it fed through. It's just barely long enough. I have a, an inch to spare right there. 
I'll probably have to take this base off by unscrewing that to get access to make these wires a little bit longer so it'll actually go through the wall and hook up but there it is you got your your pigtail hanging in there instead of this instead of having a light bulb a big huge light bulb you got a smaller light bulb and then you put your LED in there and you're good to go hang it up I'm sure in the future the more tiny houses catch on the more manufacturers will make lights that go on the outside or they'll make more decorative lights you go to an RV shop and look for an outside light for a porch it's hideous they're plain ugly I wanted something that looked a little nicer so I had to do a little work I had to leave a part out but I like it I think it'll suit just fine outside be nice decorative little lamp so I hope this is somewhat informative for some people show you how to do something get some ideas going don't forget to like and subscribe, and hopefully there'll be some more videos soon. Have fun. Be safe.